I don't know about you, but I reckon this makes me look a bit sheepish. Right, I got a bit of a, a trip on this morning. Uh, we've got a customer over the other side of the River Severn, over in Lydney. Um, I don't know why, for some reason, she insists on us looking after trees for her. She's got some reasonably good um, company that's not far from her, but she, she just wants, wants us. So I've got to go over and see her and look at the work over there. Quite a lot of work, I think. Um, so I've got my nice new mask, my sheet mask, um, got my book, got my pens, got all the bits and bobs and things. Uh, I've got one more thing to take with me, and that's a daughter. Um, for those of you that don't know, ding, 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 bit of news, Mikey actually popped the question to Emma a week or so back and asked her to be his wife. He'd already asked my permission um, earlier in the year, I said no. But, um, so yeah, so they're, they're gonna get married, apparently. So now they're looking at venues for churches and receptions and stuff like that. And some idiot, I don't know who it was, some complete moron said, oh, I know there's a brand new barn. Maybe you could have your reception in there because we're doing this all on a shoestring budget because they don't have they don't have that much of a budget to go towards wedding and I'm not doing too much on this one because I've already paid for one. So um, Emma's a bit excited about maybe having her reception in the barn in the middle of nowhere on top of a field, blah, blah, blah. But I said, well, before you plan anything, maybe you ought to just come and have a look first. You know, because this is going to be a venue where a lot of her, Mikey's family and friends, and they're um, not quite so countryfied as, as us. And I don't know how they're gonna handle being in a big black barn in the middle of nowhere. So we're gonna go to Lydney, look at the tree job, and then come back, look at the barn, and then Emma's gonna go, yes, we can do that, or no, we can't. So, and then I've also got to think of where we're gonna put all the kit that's supposed to go in the barn. Watch this space. No, no, you stay as Emma. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Oh, you can play, you can play. Yeah. 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 No, no, my coat's not in. So I'm parked on zigzags. I'm not supposed to park on zigzags. <laughs> what are you doing? No, <laughs> no, I need to put my belt on. Safety first. Morning. Good morning. How are we? Pardon? How are we? Yeah, we're okay. And then I haven't had to put up with the screaming brat since half past five this morning, have I? So used to it. She hasn't been too bad this morning. She's very demanding. Your she daughter. is very demanding. She's very, very demanding. She was very cute this morning when yeah. she wanted to wake up. Then. So I'm looking forward to the day when she understands the word no. Oh, me too. Yes. <laughs> isn't, that what, isn't that what perfume is supposed to do? It's supposed it to make you smell nice. nice. I do smell nice. Yeah, but look at my nose. Yeah, but you like the smell of shit. I wouldn't say I like the smell of shit. You prefer I, the smell of poo? I prefer the smell of poo to what you're wearing. Yeah, you're strange. <laughs> Very strange. I mean, that is quite... Um, you're like a dog rolling in the bloody No, I don't. Poo. I don't roll in stuff, no. No, but that is quite... We're in a, a small and Go quite... Go away! <laughs> we're in a... a, a Why do you love me A so small much? space. I mean, no, dogs, put, dogs this like... This was on at like six o'clock in the morning. And well, you put perfume on at six o'clock in the morning. I get up in the morning and I get dressed and I'm ready to go and I put whatever yeah. I need to go on. Well, don't you have a shower instead? 
because I have a shower at night time. Do you honestly think I would be able to have a shower with my daughter? Well, not with her, no. No, as in, like, the amount of... Yeah, well, we get, just get, have you got, uh, like, a clothes basket? What to put her in? Yeah, stick her in the clothes basket while you're over your shower. And I'm not... She's a pull-in. <laughs> all she wants to do is climb. Oh, OK, well, all right. Tie her shoelaces together, then put her in the clothes basket. She's kind of way. All right. she wants to do at the moment is climb everywhere. If I let her near a tree that had low enough branches, she would be at the top of the tree. Oh, is that right? OK. She is a climber. Yeah. I've had to move all of my sofas away from surfaces where she can climb up on. OK. I don't quite know how we got from perfume to climbing trees, I'm not quite sure. Because you said, why don't you have a shower in the morning? Well, yeah, we, why do you... We, because I have a shower at night Why time? do you squirt all that stuff on you? When do you have a shower? Every night. <laughs> but I don't get up in the morning and squirt myself with stinky. I don't do it every morning. I knew I was... Well, I didn't know I was Well, you did it on but... purpose today because you were going to need to get into the van with me. I is it a crime to smell nice? But it's not nice. It's really oh, overpowering. It's God. like, you know... It's almost... Is it your time of the month or something? <laughs> it's almost eye-watering. Oh my goodness. Biscuit, does Mikey like that? Yeah, he bought it for me. Oh, does he? Oh. We, um, I was talking to your mother a while ago. Cause we, no, we're looking at maybe... I don't care, you live with her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> maybe doing a bit, a bit of, um, a bit more Farmer P merchandise. Right. And, um... Is this a plug? <laughs> it could be a plug if you wanted to. Uh, let's get your take on this. I was thinking that maybe we could launch our own um, our own gentleman's aftershave and call it Farmer P. Here, right where I'm putting my finger is going to be hashtag Farmer P. Ding. <laughs> hashtag you know Farmer what P. they do on the <laughs> when they say the merchandise, they go click here for uh, hashtag, Farmer, hashtag Farmer, P. Farmer P for right. the merchandise, and then they put a link and then people can click on it and go to them. All right, I'm not clever enough to do that. Nor am I. No, just watch no, it. No. So, do you? Would you know if I if I and a nice squirty bottle with farmer P on the on the label, would you buy that for Mikey? No, because I know it would be shit. Literally, no, no, it would be... you'd go and scoop it out from the buddy. What, silage effluent? No, you're not, you're getting it farmer P. Oh, you want a PP in the bottle. You want P. Wasted on you, know, you know, you too could smell like farmer P. Squirt, squirt, squirt. No? You're going to fill up bottles with P. Like, we, we. Did I just like we just, we just we just lost the moment, didn't we? I know. Just lost the moment. No. Yeah. <laughs> Darling, I when we really last time we the Chippenham Castle. Is that where the, the celebrities are? Hey. No. I'm a celebrity. They're in Wales at the moment, aren't they? I don't know. Yeah, they are. Vernon oh. Kay. Who? Vernon Kay. Shane Ritchie. Oh my god, it was so funny last night, Dad. <laughs> you and I laughed. <laughs> so they have a dunny, right? So not a nice toilet. It is just a hole oh. and a bucket that these celebrities have to. All right. Do and we back to the earth. Yeah. And Shane Ritchie was up on this terrace thing, and Jordan, who's a DJ on BBC Radio One, he was having a wee, but Shane was chucking stones whilst he was in there, <laughs> and he's like going. Someone chucking stones. Who's there? Who's there? He comes out and he's looking around. He goes, someone's. Nobody was there like that. He could saw. He's like, someone's chucking stones, and he, Shane was still doing it, but ducking down. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he, he goes, "Is anybody up there? Is anybody up there?" So Shane hid, and he walked round up the steps. And he went, "Boo!" And he shit himself. <laughs> and then afterwards, they, after that, they both sat down, and um, Shane goes like that. And he goes, "What? What?" He goes, "Pop a finger." He went, <laughs> <laughs> it was the dirtiest fart ever. <laughs> I was pissing myself. I love I'm a celebrity. And the things that they have to do and go through. Like going through being trapped in a bloody tunnel or whatever with loads of snakes to be able to get food. And then they got their 10 stars and they got eel to cook. They were like, what is this? Eel? Yeah. It's, it's not all, like. It's all bloody bones, eels. It, apparently, it's bone and fat. Well, no, there is there is muscle in there. There's a lot of muscle mm. in there. But the thing is, is it is, and they have to skin it. They have to do everything. They basically get given. They had oxtail last night, and they get given it, and they have to. Oxtail's lovely. Yeah, they have to like get all the uh, meat off of the the bone and everything. Well, you cook it on the bone. Well, they got all the meat off the bone. Oh no, you cook it on the bone. 
but like the... But then, then, the, then what's left of that makes a fantastic soup. Mm. Oxtail soup. But yeah, they're, they're really back to basics, but yeah, Shane Ritchie is hilarious. So I'll tell you, what, do you know how to skin an eel? So wherever you have an eel, you, I don't want eel. they're very difficult, very difficult to skin. So you nail them to a door or something. I don't even think they skinned it. I think they ate the skin. Really? They literally just chopped it up. Oh, right. Okay, well, you don't do that. You've got to skin the eel. You have to... Yeah. yeah. So literally, you nail his head to the door, and you cut around, and you have to just peel it off like a sock. Because obviously you cut down the middle if you want, but it just peel it off like a sock, so... Yeah, they ate it, but Shane was giving them the whole, like, yeah, if you... Let's boil it, and then we'll take all the salt that's in the water, and then use the salt as a flavouring. I don't think it. They're all there going like this. <laughs> None of them ate it, but it is. It's back to basics, but it is absolutely hilarious. Okay. I love I'm a celebrity, but yeah, they're in Wales because they can't go to Australia. Okay. I heard someone on the radio um, yesterday. Some woman bleating. No, oh, I've been a vegan for twenty years, and it's cruel to animals. And some about insects. Oh no, basically, she so she was she was a vegan and they had an eating challenge and um, I think she regretted becoming a vegan. She was like, I've only been a vegan since um, March because she had fermented like um, tofu, fermented peaches, um, what else did she have? Every, everything was fermented. It was what's, what's, what's fermented? Rotten. Oh. So everything was just rotten and she had to eat it. And whereas like Fern and Kay had like deer balls, they had to eat and he bit into it and it just went and it's like squirted out of his mouth, it was gross. But they had like um, raw uh, oh, cow's tongue and um, sheep's penis that they had to eat. Really? Yeah. It's great. You should watch, you would enjoy I'm a Celebrity. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'd enjoy the diet very much. No, they're on. If, if they don't get any of the stars, they're just on rice and beans. They lose so much weight on it. But the challenges and, and the context, because it's just putting random celebrities in this castle and they're stripped down to nothing, and it's on every single night for three weeks, and it's great telly. It's okay. just putting them through hell. Hell, and it's great. Okay. It's funny. So you're getting pleasure of watching somebody else's Absolutely. discomfort. And with Shane being in there, being the, the practical joke at oh, all last night, I was, I was trying to not laugh too much because Billy was asleep. I was like, <laughs> he's like, going, he's chucking stones. It was funny. Last night they had um so I would never do something like that. Oh, Far too sensible. Go ahead. Mount your, mount your horse. You haven't got your shoelaces done up. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get, come here. Put a laugh at it on it, Emma. Calm down. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it? <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's option number one. Yeah. Well, you could get a license to get married at our place. Want to get married in a church, though, Dad? Yeah, I know you do. In the church that you got married in. It's symbolic. It's the church that I did all my nativities in and everything like that. It's a church that I eventually want to get Millie cr christened in. It's not just the church, do you know what I mean? Mm. It's the same place, I can have the same, mimic the same video, oh well I actually don't want to because I don't want rain going down the back of my neck. But the same photos of you, like you and mum, do you know what I mean? Mimic it and stuff and just make it nice. I know I'm getting married in the same place you guys got married in. The circle of life. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. The only thing is Mike is 30 and I'm 26. Mm. They're a bit late to the party. Mm. What are you complaining about? Eh? Is your calf gone and got into that gate? So obviously we had another calf last night. Um, don't know what flavour it is yet. So, but she was 
right, she was fiddling about this morning, so I basically shut her at that end of the barn with her calf to make sure that he got his first suck on colostrum and that. So I think now I'll have to open the gate and let her back in with hers. Okay, so the little black calf is a new addition. Uh, mother is a bit calf proud on this one, so I'm just gonna take my time with this one. There you go, that's how it works. And yeah, calf is up and sucking, so she's not happy. I'll come back, I need to pick up those cleansings in a bit, so I'll do that after lunch. <laughs> 